Vancouver Point Grey. Well, thank you. Well, honourable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Now, the Premier says she's been transparent about her stipend or commission or whatever it is that she gets. She says she's disclosed it. She says everyone's known about it for years. Well, if that's true, can she, can she rise in this place and tell us exactly the full amount that she's received from the BC Liberal Party through this stipend since she's become the leader of the BC Liberal Party? Minister of Finance. Madam Speaker, I, I merely point out the member is now an experienced uh, uh, member of the, uh, the chamber, uh, knows that there are rules uh, governing uh, what may be asked in uh, question period, how it relates, how it relates to uh, ministerial responsibilities. He, of all people, and, and you know, I might add, he probably should have told his leader about the disclosure of these matters, since I'm sure he reviewed them. It would have helped his leader if he had passed that on. But Madam Speaker, the member knows the question is out of order for question period. Yeah, yeah. Point is well taken. Minister of Responsibility does not apply in this instance. Well, Speaker, I, I take your advice. And, uh, you know, I see the Premier has her lawyer defending her here today. Oh. She... for honorable speaker you get what you pay for now, now speaking of speaking of lawyers just take your seat please thank you please continue thank you honorable speaker now uh, the minister of finance is the only lawyer defending the premier she's also hired a lawyer to defend her in the conflict of interest complaint uh, that i've filed uh, here's the bad news the lawyer that's defending her is paid for by the public, by taxpayers. So not only is the premier, not only is the premier taking a cut of every donation made to the BC Liberal Party. Not only, members, question please. Not only does she appear to have taken more than two hundred thousand dollars in that stipend. Not only does she ask for $20,000 to sit down with her at a private dinner to discuss what's going on in the government's agenda, but now she wants taxpayers to pay for the lawyer to explain to the conflict commissioner why this is all okay. Honorable Speaker, the Premier is fine with BC Liberal donors paying for her car, real estate, her personal expenses. Why aren't they paying for her lawyer? Minister of Finance. Look, Madam Speaker, there are a whole host of issues. They are important issues. They are issues that confront uh, and involve the lives of British Columbians, that relate to the well-being of British Columbians. They are all legitimate matters for discussion, for probing, for criticism, for investigation in this chamber at this time. The expenditure of caucus budget dollars, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, are not are not one of those matters, and I think it is a I think it is a sign, candidly, of an opposition that is bankrupt of ideas. And by the way, uh, that's okay because if they ever got a chance to govern this province, the province itself would be bankrupt. Madam Speaker. <laughs> 